Ooh, video game feedback. Okay, when you're in Antarctica and you take the robot thing, is okay. Fix that. The tanks make a harsh sound. Can it be quieter? They get, they are too loud, aren't they? Okay, I need to fix that. All right, where's the tanks noise? There it is. Try that. Uh, we're, oh, this is where some tanks are. All right. Yeah, it's a little better. All right, guys, seriously, though. I've been working on this video game for a while. And in a nutshell, I wanted to make a game that my kid, kids could play and would be a good influence on them. As opposed to like most of the modern video games where it's like, you learn how to be a psychopath. You know, I learned a lot of cool stuff from games when I was a kid. So I wanted to make a game with a, with a hero who is genuinely a good person. Who is strong, creative, intelligent, a problem solver. They save the world and they also kick butt. They're, they're just a genuinely good person. So I'm at the point in the game now where you can play from beginning to end, everything appears to work. And I'm just going through, finding little bugs, I'm adding music, you know, updating the, the effects and stuff, just like tuning it up, um, finishing touches. So this is when it would be excellent to have some feedback. So I have a deal for anyone, presuming this isn't like a million people, but I don't think that many people are gonna do this. Um, <clears throat> anyone who wants to help with that, you can be in the video game. So I can, I'll make you one of those little people, you know, it can have your name. I'm not going to put like anyone's full name and address or anything, but just you know, like your first name and like you can say what the dialogue has to be. If it's a person who's like integral to the story, obviously the dialogue has to remain informative in the correct way or whatever. But anyway, uh, if you want to be in the game, this is what you have to do. Uh, you have to give me some feedback. Now, ideally, uh, if you can make a video, that would be great. <clears throat> and just like put it on YouTube and share it to me and I'll, I'll watch it. Or if uh, you just want to email me, try to send some some screenshots so I know what you're talking about and stuff. That would be really helpful. And if you, if you do video, you don't have to do fancy screen capture. You can just aim the camera at the screen. I'm not super picky about that. But, uh... Here's a basic guideline of, of how you could do it. Uh, find three things in the game that you like. Um, I don't want to give any more leading information than that. Just three things that you like. Say why, what you like about them. Why you know? Just kind of, kind of a, give me some kind of information about what what's good about those things. And then give me three things that are no good. <clears throat> Either you know bugs or things where you're like, ah, oh, I really hate how this part of the story goes, or uh, I don't like this special effect, or or I really hope in the final version of the game you put this kind of music here or something, you know, <clears throat> just any kind of uh, constructive criticism or suggestion or anything. So three good things, three improvements. And if you send me that, oh, and you also have to play the game from beginning to end. So you have to say something, give me some kind of indication that you've gotten to the end of the game. Just uh, say, ah, oh, yeah, at the end, there's a scene like this, whatever. Okay, if you do that and give me some good feedback, then uh, I'll put you in the game. And just, I don't know, send me a picture of yourself wearing whatever you'd want to wear in your little character. It's not gonna, I'm not gonna have like your face or anything, don't worry, you're not gonna lose your identity. You'll have total privacy. You're just this little tiny pixely person. Um, and if there's a specific person already in the game that you want to be, say, I want to be army guy number six standing beside this tank here, or just send me a screenshot with an arrow. <clears throat> I can probably do that. Or uh, I can also add people because there are a bunch of places that uh, kind of need some more filling out towns and stuff. Anyway, so uh, yeah, anyone who wants to do that, that would be great because I could really use some feedback right now because I've been playing this game for like, the last year, you know, I'll work on it, I'll build a level, level, I don't know what you call it, a map, an area, 
and then I'll play it like a hundred times while I'm making it to make sure everything works. So it's just kind of all a jumble to me. So some feedback from other people would be super valuable right now. Okay. Oh, I should mention the game is not that hard to get through. Like last night before I uploaded it, I played it from beginning to end without saving. It's, it's like a reasonably skilled person can get through the game without difficulty. It's because uh, it's a story driven game, not a difficulty driven game. I might make it a little harder or put difficulty levels in later, but right now you can get through the game. It's not that hard. Hopefully it's fun. Okay, one other thing is I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to distribute the game. I think I'm just going to give it out for free and just share the code and everything and make it so people can donate if they, if they want to. Um, but if anyone has any thoughts on that. Feel free to share, because I'm still thinking about that. But yeah, I think I want to go with just giving it out and, uh, you know, requesting donations if people want to. Oh, duh, this was the other thing. All right, you have until the end of January to do this. I didn't didn't really give a timeline. People will be sending me messages like in 2042.